chosen vessels what's the deal this video is for the real chosen out there look when you meet people and people are ahead of you and they're not they're not um, humble they're not encouraging they're not respectful these people might secretly have some type of animosity or some envy towards you because when you meet people along your path and they feel envious or jealous of you there's going to be some signs and we're going to talk about them in this video there's going to be some things that you're going to see from these people how they talk to you how they act to you how they respond to you when you tell them things when you interact with them when you interact with people and you talk to people who actually want to see you do good who actually want to help you all right they are not going to treat you in a certain type of way that makes you scratch your head and make you feel like should i be getting help from this person when someone secretly envies you it's gonna you're gonna be constantly wondering is is this supposed to be happening like they're gonna be doing things and you're gonna be questioning yourself is this supposed to be happening like you're gonna their actions are gonna be weird to you what they're gonna do you're not gonna understand it at some times everything's going to be cool for a little bit and then they're going to act in a way that makes you feel like yo am i even supposed to be here Does this person even like me why would you bring somebody around to just put them down or or feel some type of way about them some people need supply some people need power some people need to feel better than other people imagine somebody that has power over someone that that's they're better than but that person has like an egotistical issue. That person has some type of ego thing to where they need people to say that they're a genius. They need people to say that they're smart. People, True people who are smart don't need anybody to tell them they're smart. They just go be smart, use their smarts, profit off their smarts, benefit other people's lives off their intelligence. People who need somebody to be like, oh, tell me I'm smart. I mean, watch out for those people. Those people are bat stuff crazy. Okay, they need they need that type of they they um they fiend for your recognition and your acknowledgement. Okay, people like that you got to be careful for people like that. Try to avoid getting help from people like that because they're gonna try to make you kiss their behind all the way. Nobody wants to just because you're ahead of me and somebody needs and I need to learn something from you doesn't mean I have to kiss your behind just to not be behind. I can get ahead without you. Okay. We don't kiss no behind over here. We don't got to kiss your butt just to get some information, just to get ahead. We, uh, we could, You could do research on your own. You can go find somebody else and pay them to help you. Find you another um, person that wants to help you, okay, that really wants to help you, all right? And, like, when people are taking shots at you, when you're paying them, when you're getting help from them, when you're getting their service, that person don't have no respect for you. OK, that person is envious of you. That person is disrespecting you. That person is uh, that person doesn't see you on their same level. So they're going to disrespect you. They're going to take shots at you. They're going to put you down. But if that's the case, why would you take my business? You see what type of person that you people that you could possibly dealing with? Don't deal with people. Right. And don't do business with people who are envious of you and who are jealous of you and will put you down. Envious and jealous people are sneaky, tricky, and conniving people. They'll act like they're your friend for a little bit. They'll act like they're cool with you. All the while, they feel some type of way about you, and that's okay. But you have to keep it. You have to keep it away from you from a distance. Because if somebody feels that way from a distance when they're not near you, that's cool. You can care less, and you're like, okay, whatever. It doesn't harm me. But when you're, when you're doing business with people, when you work with people like that, when you have friends like that or you're around people like that, it's not good for you. It's not good for your spirit. It's not good for your your self-image about yourself. When you, when you put yourself around people like that, you have to check you. Yes, what they're doing is incorrect. It's not good. It's immoral. But what you have to do is you have to check you because you have to be like, hmm, where is my level of self-value that I put myself in this position in the first place? Why am I around these people? If I valued myself, would I really be around these people? Would I really be taking this type of behavior? And the answer is no. If you really valued yourself, you wouldn't you wouldn't be there for two seconds. The first sight of disrespect or the first wind you caught a disrespect, you'd be like, I'm out of here. Don't argue with them. Don't get upset. Just leave. Don't get upset. Don't argue. Flee the scene. Okay, they just committed a crime against you. Flee the scene. It's not worth it. 
these people won't change and arguing with them only gives them more power because it makes it lets them know that they impacted you in such a way to now you feel some type of way about what they did and your emotions feeling some type of way about this feeling some type of way about that let all that go okay because this person is beneath you this person tried to this person uh is beneath you they disrespected you tried to be rude said all types of ill sneaky stuff and think you couldn't tell like they'll sneak this you and take subliminals at you right in your face right while you're you know right right in your face and they think you can't tell but i guess they think you need them so bad that you can't go to somebody else or you can't find another person but don't feel you need them that bad that's making that person god in your life you'll never need anyone there's not anyone on the face of this earth that you need that bad to where you have to sell your soul to get to get what you need done you don't need that person okay you have god in you that you can rely on you can pray to jesus okay pray to god ask the universe to bring you what you need ask god to bring you what you need okay pray right Ask God to give you what you need and also ask him to get people out of your life like that and ask God to bring the right people into your life for the right reasons, okay? And get out of your mind that there are people out there that are doing bad because if you have in your mind anywhere that there are people out there doing bad, then somebody could possibly come into your life and do you bad by the law of attraction because if you think people are bad and you're out there going to do business with the possibility in your mind that this person may get over on me if you're thinking thoughts like that then you could possibly attract that if somebody acts like that then let that person just act like that but don't you go into the business or don't you go into the business field with the idea that somebody might be out to get me somebody might be doing me dirty because if you are then if you have that in your mind, you might possibly attract that in due time. So that's another thing, okay? You want to not think like that also, all right? You don't want to think that there are people out there to get you. You don't want to think that people are out there being envious of you. Yes, there are people like that, but don't react to that situation. Like I said, let it go and move on, okay? So the universe can bring you the right people that you need, all right? The universe will bring you the right things that you need. Ask for what you need. Don't focus on the negative. Don't focus on those people envying you. Don't focus on those people taking shots at you. This is just to make you aware so that you know, like, oh, okay, this is somebody that is going to possibly burn me down the road because I could tell they're a little envious of me. I could see they're a little jealous of me, and I could tell this person really don't rock with me like that. So if we if we ended up doing anything like business-wise or if I tried to make anything happen with this person or get in a relationship with a person like that or be friends with a person like that or do something with a person like that it probably wouldn't work out in my best favor it'll probably work out with this person be coming out on top some way somehow and then me not talking to them anymore so just to avoid that pay attention to the signs if people are sneak dissing if people are trying to play you and you're coming off genuine you're coming off respectful but it seems like they don't respect you it seems like they're playing with you don't deal with people like that. The first sign that they're playing with you, they're dead to you. Cut them off. Leave them alone. They don't exist no more because you can't allow people to keep playing with you. Don't allow people to keep playing with you and don't deal with people who play with you. All right. And that way you'll have a peaceful life. You'll have a peaceful day. You won't have no hardly, hardly next to no stress. And ask God every day. This is what we have to do. Ask God to bring the right people in our life for the right reasons. So that way we'll attract people that aren't just coming around for a season. We want to attract the right people for the right reasons. No shortcuts, no fakes, no frauds, no liars, okay? No users, all right? We just want real genuine people in our life, real genuine people <clears throat> that we want to do business with, real genuine relationships, real genuine friendships, okay? Real genuine partners, okay? But that means we also have to be genuine as well. And we have to be aware that there are real genuine people out there. And also, we have to get the idea of people trying to do us dirt. That's a whole nother video right there. But we have to get the idea of people doing us dirt, people doing us dirty in our mind. We have to get rid of the idea that, hey, there's somebody out there that's going to do me dirty. Don't think that way because you'll attract that. Think that, hey, there's somebody out there that's going to help me and I'm going to do business with them and it's going to benefit me and them. That's the thought you want to put out there because the people that are doing you dirty, they won't even be able to get near you if you're thinking thoughts like that, okay? That's why you got to be careful the content you take in. You don't know where 
those ideas might have popped in. Could have been a TV show, could have been a movie, could have been anything, something that happened to your uncle, your aunt, anything that could have happened to you that you could have been around or witnessed that could have implanted that seed in your mind. Okay, you want to think good thoughts. You don't want to think thoughts of any negativity. Any form of negative thought, you don't want to think that because it could, you could, it could plant the seed and it could possibly grow. Take heed to this message, please, so that you don't uh, make the mistake to make the mistake of dealing with these kinds of people because you don't need the setbacks, you don't need the hurt, you don't need any problems, or you don't need any further issues, okay? Thank you for watching this video. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you all in the next video. And protect your energy out there.